Yo, why are you looking like you've been served breakfast? You're not looking really good. Why? What, what's what's the problem? Yeah, big boss, Charlie. It's just this this work that I did recently that I'm trying to share. But I, I just feel like people would wouldn't like it. Wait, but what what's holding you back from not sharing? I guess I'm just worried. The last work that I shared, they received a lot of backlash. People were just coming at me, so I just I'm just so confused as to share this one. Well, I get it. But you understand that sharing your work is also very important. If you have some time, you can pass the mic to me so that we can talk about it. What do you think? Yeah, of course, we can talk about it. Why not? Yeah, here you go. I know you understand that sharing your work is very important. Now, you think about all the great artists that you know, or all the great designers, or the creatives that you know out there. Do you ever think that they would be known or you'd even know them if they never shared their work? Think about the greatest like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo and all these great artists that has lived ever. Do you think you'd ever have heard of them if they never shared their masterpieces? Of course, these great people share their works and their pieces online and now these works and these pieces have inspired a whole generation of people. But don't you think that what you're talking about is those days because the likes of these people were like a long time ago, does that really work these days as well? Of course, it does work these days as well. I recently read Still Like an Artist by Austin Clay and there was an awesome piece of line that I would like to share with you. And he says, you don't put yourself online only because you have something to say. You can put yourself online to find something to say. And that goes on to tell us that sharing your work isn't only about the final piece you are not sharing your work necessarily because you want the world to know that you are the better one or you are the worst of it all you are sharing your work for the love of the process and what you can learn along the way the design journey is a very long one and every single day every project that we work on we learn something different from it the idea is to get better and better after each project and if you don't share your works how do you expect to get the feedbacks that will get you better are you getting the point yeah that book i've heard about it people do say that it's so good i think i have to read it do you really think sharing my work can help me grow you see when you share your work you kind of open yourself up you become so vulnerable for everyone you open up for feedback and collaboration you open up for criticism and you open up to learn Think of sharing your work online as sharing it with a whole community or a bunch of people that can help you to improve and inspire you with new ideas. The internet is a very huge space and once you share your works, of course you open up yourself for almost anything that can come at you but in this case, we are focusing on what will help us grow and what will help us be better than we are today. I'm sure before designing this work, you actually looked out for inspiration or something inspire you. Now, what would have happened if those people never shared their works? There is no way those things would have inspired you. So you think of your work as that. Though you might think that this is not like that very better, it will very much surprise you that this could also inspire some people or this could inspire someone. So you see, Paul Arden in his book, it's not how good you are, it's how good you want to be says that. The more you give away, the more comes back to you. Sharing can lead to collaboration, job offers, and many more. I've always shared a story of how I got my first client on Facebook. Again, the power of sharing. It's pretty much me starting out my graphic design journey, and which was so cool and so good. But then I decided to share regardless of how good I thought it was at that time. Now, after a couple of months of sharing, a friend of mine recommended me to someone who wanted somebody to work on a photo manipulation for them. Eventually, this this person happened to be in the United States and I was able to work on a piece for the person and I got paid. The moral of this story is what would have happened if I never shared my works. My friend or the person that recommended me would never have gotten to know that I'm able to do this or that and would never have recommended me which means that i would have lost that client and lost that money i get the idea oh yeah that makes a lot of sense now i think it's more like giving out and how it brings you opportunities right one more thing about building portfolios do you really think sharing your works can help build a portfolio 
you know your portfolio is more like your professional calling card that is something that people would mostly look out to when they want to hire you now as a beginner graphic designer you might not have the access to things like say a website or a very solid portfolio so what we tell or what will inform people that you are active and you are still creative sharing your works let me give you this scenario imagine someone wants to hire a designer or someone for their project and they choose two people the first person the last time that they posted on their social media was a year ago the second person the last time that they posted on their social media was two days ago or a day ago by merely looking at their social media who do you think they would perceive that the person is still active and creative exactly and that is the power of sharing the more you share your works the more you create the more you post it helps you to become active more creative and constantly evolve and this will also tell the people around you that you are still active in the game and just in case they need to recommend you or talk to you to someone they can easily do that but which platforms do you think i should share my works do i have to join the likes of say behance pinterest or instagram or i can just share my work on any platform please advise on that platforms like behance pinterest and instagram and all those platforms that we normally share our works are good but what we're trying to say is that if you don't have access to all of those things if you feel like your work is not that top notch to be posted on those platforms in the meantime you can start with the basic ones that you have you don't necessarily have to be posting on the hands or pinterest in order for you to feel like you are good enough and besides if you feel like posting your works there why not you're welcome you don't know who might come across your work and like i said earlier you don't know who your work will even inspire it might even be a future client a collaborator or a mentor who has been spying you or who has been looking at you from a very far distance so you just need to share your work you know i think you are scary about this whole process yeah that one day you are very right but like i mentioned earlier you need to come to a point of vulnerability you need to open up yourself to the public for criticism both constructive and the the harder ones the ones that will get you like yo the, the ones that will make you feel regretted for sharing your words about all these remember brain brown's words and he says vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation creativity and change you need to be willing to be vulnerable because it is in that vulnerability that openness that we grow and get better and even make more meaningful connections uh, I'm, I'm so scared but i think from what you're saying it's carried over i think it can also be rewarding yeah i i really hope this helps i really this inspire you to share your work just go ahead and share the work don't worry i'll be i'll be the first person to like it okay so you have one spot and I know there are others that likes your work and give you constructive criticism so that you can get better. Can you kindly tell the people watching us now to also share their works? Yeah, of course. Yeah, to you watching this as well, don't forget to share your work. Regardless of how you feel like your work is, how good or bad you feel your work is, don't forget to share it. You just go ahead and share your work. All right, thank you so much for this piece of advice. I think I'm very much motivated to share my work now after all that you've said and i really appreciate this so much thank you so very much now if you're like me right over here and you're contemplating on sharing your work or not i think this piece of advice is also for you so just like i'm motivated to go and share my work out there why don't you also get motivated and share your work out there also don't forget to keep creating and keep sharing your work thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i hope you enjoyed this conversation let me know in the comment section if you want to see more videos made in this comment to answer your most asked questions and treat some of these topics that creatives would want to see. If this video was helpful, subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you guys. I mean, we will see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.